Hello and welcome everyone to part 4 of the Sparta Let's Play for Rome, or to rather Total War Rome 2. keep wanting to say Rome 2 Total War, but in just know it's now the Total War brand and then the title. But anyway, yes, we continue in the intern phase. Uh, those of you that haven't seen my Rome part, which went up before this, um, for the next couple of parts until a CA patch comes out, I'm currently trying out the Radius mod, or the Radius Battle mod. Link to that is in the description. Uh, it's completely save game compatible, which is why I'm able to just add it into my campaigns, my Let's Plays. Um, but it has a lot of stat tweaks, um, uh, morale tweaks, and even combat animation speed tweaks. Uh, four units, and it's only effective in battle, but you will be able to see on the campaign map, you know, some of the stat tweaks and things like that, notably range. Uh, missile units have all had their ranges change, archers now have the longest range in the game, slingers closely behind, javelin men have had theirs reduced from 80 to 70, so it's, it's definitely more of a close range thing. Um, a lot of morale tweaks, as I said, so that units stay fighting longer and they don't break when they still have half their men left, or, or more than that sometimes. Um, as I said, combat animations have been slowed down, so it seems more realistic, and it's not such a crazy sprinted mess. Um, and it makes battles last a lot longer, to kind of almost the extent where they seem the usual speed that we're used to. So hopefully that's a complete improvement. However, I should note that Creative Assembly have said that they will be doing um, speed changes to combat animation stuff, because they recognise that people are finding the battle speeds too too fast. So that should happen soon, and when that patch does come out, I will remove Radius's mod just to see the changes that CA make themselves, because I do want to generally make this a vanilla Let's Play as such. But I am obviously completely open to to mods. I would always use mods in the past, and I probably will do uh, in my second round of campaigns. But for now, I would like to just, you know, deal with the vanilla campaign as much as possible, the vanilla game too. So we will see there. Anyway, 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 anyway. So... It seems like I haven't played this game for a while, but it's only been like, well, right, this game, this Let's Play, I should say, the Spar Let's Play f for an age, but it's only been a couple of days. But with my other ones going on, it does seem like there's a lot of variation going on. So I'm bringing this guy up here to do some military training, my hero. And I've just started recruiting um, Perioikoi Pikemen, and Pikemen in this game are awesome. Um, so I'm going to have five units of Pikemen shore up my first line and I'll have stuff like hoplites to flank ground with um, slingers and um, javelin men for a fun with I'm probably gonna go for some slingers um, as you can see that the slingers they've had their range decrease from 150 to 130 archers now have 135 range which I feel is is fine and the heliot uh, javelin men have 17 70 rather range it's a lot of perioikoi Hoplites, trying to work out the units that I can recruit here. Um, I think I need to upgrade this barracks to a Hoplite. Hoplite barracks, rather. And then I can get Spartan pikemen and the likes. Or oh, from here, apparently, I can get Spartan. Um, Spartan hoplites. Ready for battle. Yeah, we can get Spartan hoplites, which are very good. Very good indeed. A lot of good morale. Um, again, that may be Radius's tweaks there. Weapon damage, melee attack, weapon damage is decent. Melee attack, not that much, but then they just got speed. It's not you know, overly powerful sword units or anything like that. Citizen cavalry as well. So that's kind of what I'll be looking to deal up here. We've already got a couple of the Spartan hoplites. So Athens is our target. Um, if we look at the diplomacy. Select them there. They have their client state of Macedon, and I have a good relationship with them. Very friendly, and trade coming in from them. Very un unhappy with Carthage, um, but I need to claim Athens to unite the peninsula and uh, basically be able to hold off against Macedon. I think well, that's how I feel anyway. Um, I have actually been playing a Macedon, Macedon or Macedonian campaign as well in my spare orders. time and that has kind of helped me give us a few ideas for this for what I should do now but it is definitely take Athens um, and unify my regions here and definitely get a province together 
because it makes a lot of difference. And obviously, if I take um, Athens, then it is the province capital, and I have Commander. walls to defend from. So oh. it's going to be hitting it with several armies. Probably going to hit it with this one. Or about the Etruscan League, perhaps. Uh, but I need more money to do that, so right now I'm just waiting for more money to come on in. Saving up. We've research land re reclamation, but I would also like to... I was going to go for more civil technologies, but actually I would like to go for one more military technology right now, which is Hellenization, because it lets me get the Hoplite Barracks. So, with that in mind, I've got my spy up here. I'm going to bring her down so that we can see this army. Athena's faithful. Can I be of more assistance? Let's see what they have here. They've got um, Peltas. Peltas. Um, right, a lot of hop hoplites. Light hoplites as well. And slingers. And of course, they will get a, a garrison of 12 extra men joining them. Mobs, slingers, cistern ho uh, hoplites, uh, militia hoplites, and light hoplites. Plus they have a little fleet out here as well. One of them has a ballista on it, I think. Or are they slingers or something? Hmm. Scorpion. Oh, it's a scorpion. Okay. So this army I really want to bring back. We've got roads over here, which would be an ideal target to go for at some point. But we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that just yet. So I really need to bring this army back. We're gonna bring it back to Sparta. Which the nearest beach is here. Oh no, it's there. That's the quickest route. So we'll go for that. Oh, we should have put these guys in double time stance. Roll, damn you, roll. We can actually get them all back right now. There we go. And we can continue on land now. And they're back to Sparta in one go. So that is great. So we can... Can't recruit anyone this time because we're out of funds, but we're going to leave it at that and end the turn. Rome marshalling lots of little fleets there. That does seem to be a bit of hit and miss at the moment. A lot of people saying uh, the AI only sends kind of small armies or small fleets to them. Sometimes I'm seeing that, but I'm also seeing some large armies as well. So it does it does really seem all over the place. But um hopefully patch two will be in beta very soon. It was meant to be out yesterday, Monday. Um but it needed some more internal testing, so it's good that Creative Assembly are definitely putting the testing through its paces now. Um so hopefully that patch two beta may well be out today. It may well um already be out by the time this video goes up, in which case um, hopefully we'll see a huge performance boost. I thought I had a fan. Anyone that was following me on Twitter last night um, may have seen I got very excited because I thought there had been a patch. Because I came home from being out most of the day and I didn't know if there'd been a patch or not. But I loaded up my game. For some reason I had, on average, 20 more FPS than I was getting. And I was a lot more... The FPS was a lot more stable. There was hardly any dips. Um, so... I was really like, what? What's happened? I thought there'd been a patch. Went on Twitter and went to the Total War guys. Have you guys released a patch? Because I'm getting a lot more better performance, which stirred up a whole kind of um, excitement from the community. <laughs> Even made a post on the forums about it, asking if there'd been a patch. Uh, apparently it was just Phantom FPS for me. The Phantom FPS has now dissipated. Uh, so yeah, the Phantom dis um, FPS has now dissipated. I don't know for about two hours I was getting a lot higher FPS, then I closed down the game uh, and this morning when I load it back up it's back to how it was before so I really have no clue there but um, sorry for anyone that was following that last night and getting their hopes up a lot but hopefully that patch, that beta patch should be out today at some point because Creative Assembly are working around the clock 24 hour shifts um, to get the game in a shape that it should be so that's good. So I want to get some slingers I'm going to get I'm going to mm, get three slingers for now. Because the AI does seem to like a lot of skirmisher troops. Now, generally, that's probably a good idea because this is the age of skirmish. Um, you know, rather than... 
rather than um Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. Rather than a lot of kind of melee based forces. There is a lot to skirmishing. You'd have a lot of skirmishes before you would finally engage, so uh, I'm gonna disband the javelin men because I'm gonna go for the uh further range of the slingers. At your command. I want them in my army composition. I'm going to hit them with two armies. We hunger for battle. And Come I'm going to give them a lot of troops from this force, a lot of the hoplites. Uh, I'm going to march down. I'm going to do a for I can't do it. Yes, I can. Forced Get march moving, you to here. And then I'll go back to Apollonia with this guy. For now, we're fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to trade over a lot of the, a lot of the hoplites. Uh, I'm not going to do the javelin men, as I said, because I don't want them. But we'll send over... I could send over all of them. So, let's send them over. At your command. And then we, we can send this guy battle. back with the, the remainder of his forces. And why are you guys unhappy? Probably no military... No military in the area. No military garrison. As such, so no military presence, that's the thing I'm trying to think of. No military presence, so that's not having a positive impact there. Taxes, slaves. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, Ready for orders. I could put these guys in, but they're mustering, so I can't do anything right there. I'll try and draw these guys into battle Commander. with this army to try and pull their army across, and then this one can charge in and assault Athens, because I will need a large we force to do that. So, research-wise, four more turns till Hellenization is done. That's all I can do for now, so let's end the turn. Go through the end turn phases and see how we get on. Libya <clears throat> moving a ship up into into the gap between myself and Rome. And Sards and Rhodes there on its island, just chilling. You can actually play as a lot of these factions now. I believe there has been a mod which unlocks all the other factions of the game, so play pretty much as any other faction right now. As far as I can see. Oh, Macedon has lost out to Barbarian Tribes. This is perfect. Perfect time to go for it. Leonidas. That's my champion, I do believe. Not Jared Butler. Um, we'll go for a Paragon. Uh, faction encountered. Uh, Libya, yeah. Population surplus in Helias. So, yes, the uh, Tillis have come and taken... Uh, Pella from Macedonia. They are just left. Macedonia just left, or Macedon rather, just left with them. Um, Pult Diva. Said that wrong. Which is very happy and solid. So if Macedon can rally, they'll be able to hold off against the barbarians. If not, they're going to lose it right now. That means Athens has lost its biggest ally in close proximity. So I can definitely march on in with no worry of Macedonian intervention anytime soon. If they do declare war on me, they're going to have enough on their plate dealing with the Tillis. So, at your looking at the forces I have available, at your I need some more slingers here, that's for sure. And I'm, cavalry would be a good thing to have for right now. I want at least another two units of that cav, which I'll have to get next turn. Commander. Can't recruit any more forces here. I think I am going to step into their territory. Your next command. And just hold. And hoping that that tempts them into attacking me. At your command. And next turn, if not, I'm going to make 
defences here, then declare war on them. To kind of goad them into assaulting me there. to expand one of my cities soon but at the moment all my funds are going into uh, my military forces recruiting more once I take Athens then I should have some more money to play with plenty of room then for expansion and what have you kind of music reminds me of um, some of the music in the movie Troy. But, uh, that would be pretty cool if you could, um, you know, recreate that that scene from the film. Big, huge beach landing. I mean, you probably can do. Um, custom build a Troy from the film. It's the real Troy. I watched a program on, you know, discovering Troy. Uh, we discovered Cyprus as well. Um, discovering Troy and actually finding out where it was and, you know, how big a scale was it. And there was, they found a smaller settlement, far smaller than what, what's shown in the film, which obviously probably was um, built up to, you know, pro promote a bit more um, Hollywood uh, licensing and, you know, up. epic scale and things like that. But... Um, it was it was very interesting. It was a small city, but it did show that there had been a large battle around it at some point. But uh, still, a lot of it seemed to remain a mystery. But it was very interesting, anyway. Uh, I should take these guys off Force March now, and they can chill in Apollonia, which is now going to get become more stable and slowly gain some happiness. Sparta is... Why are they unhappy? Slaves, yes, because I probably... Oh, provincial instability, that'll get better. I'm hoping... Oh, hang on, isn't Egypt at war with me? No, I'm not at war with them. Okay, that's good then. Otherwise, I'd be worried. Sards as well, worried about all of their ones here. Um, so we could expand here, but again, nowhere to develop. That's the only place I can... Ex expand with. Sparta cannot expand. Um, right. We are ready for war Commander. almost. I'm going to give it, I was going to declare war this turn, but I'm going to give it one more turn before I do that so that my cavalry is definitely all recruited. I was going to recruit, an, well, two more units, but I've only got enough funds to recruit one more. So after this we will engage their army before the walls of Athens and hopefully conquer and pillage. Diplomacy. The might be the sons of Ares himself. We ask you today to send them against these wicked people. Um, hmm. Join the war. Not right now. <laughs> Make a client state. Um, I don't think I'm get, really going to get anything out of it by just pissing them off even more. So I'm just going to decline it and, and not help them out. They can go die. I know I've got to then worry about the threat of the Tillis, but I should be able to hold them. Once I take Athens, I can push north and take Pella. And then meet the Tillis on the field of battle and push them back to their homelands and then cripple them at the um, Crimean, in the Black Sea. Libya moving their moving their ships back, going for a bit of a scout, I guess. So 
Sards there. Pulling their fleet away, one of them at least. I'm not sure about the other. Royal Scythia. Always when I see that go past, I always kept keep thinking of the um, Baratheon sigil. The, the yellow background and the red stag. Or is it a black stag or a white stag on their sigil? I can't remember. Forsaken by their masters. Awesome. Macedon is no longer protecting its former client state. Is that because they got so it didn't, they didn't get killed, did they? Subject gains notoriety. We'll deal with that shortly. Household expands. Centre pool. Troop recruited. Um, forsaken their masters. Yeah, that's what we saw. Trait gain. Leonidas. Doctor. Household expands. War declared between Syracuse and Carthage. War declared between Athens and Tillis. So Athens has gone to war with Tillis, but they have dropped, been dropped by Macedon, which is just smashing. I don't know why the Macedon, Macedon dot is showing up over here, because the territory should be over there. There isn't a... I don't think there's a territory there. Oh, no, they've lost that as well. So they're down to... Oh, Macedon's really out of it. I sort of lost Pulp Diva, so I assume that dot means that that's where their army is. So they've got to now try and do something. Athens is rallying to the aid of the Macedon, but I assume that they got dropped because... At your command. Um, I'm going to take these guys out of defensive mode because I want to bring them toward the enemy. On the move. I want to reinforce this army, orders. which is going to swoop Ready on in. Declare war. Yes. Um, I assume they got dropped as a client state because Macedon no longer holds any territory. But they do have an army. So we're going to engage with this nice big combined force. Fight. And if we can destroy them then we just have to worry about the garrison next time. So now we'll get to see the radius mod in action. Now those of you who didn't see my Rome part that went up before this as I said previously. Um, that featured in, in that part. And we will have obviously a battle now. So you'll be able to see... Hopefully some of the combat animations are slower, the morale of the unit shouldn't break as easily, so they should fight longer. Um, maybe a bit laggy though, because this is going to be a big battle. And at the moment I've tweaked my settings so that they are a little bit lower than, than extreme, but it does mean that I can record fine. But even in big battles like this, my recording does dip it a bit. Um, now, Bandicam doesn't normally dip my FPS that much, but it does. It will struggle with a game that isn't well optimized. So that is why that is occurring, because I've had a lot of people saying use um, DX Story and things like that. Now, personally, I much prefer Bandicam's layout. It's a lot more simple than DX Story, um, and it's got. It's Bandicam. I find has got very good compression. Um, DX Story might do as well, but for me, personal preference. As with all these recording bits of software, it's always down to personal preference, really. Um, plus, something I'm very hopeful for with the next Bandicam update, which will actually allow me to record with pretty much zero FPS impact, is that they've Bandicam has released um, support for using the Kubda codec for NVIDIA cards, which essentially uses your graphics cards, Kubda, Kubda cores and things like that, and its own Kubda, Kubda software. To, to help it process video and recordings a lot. Uh, we got my reinforcement coming in from behind. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Uh, enemy reinforcements coming from the sea. Um, but yeah, it allows you to use that that NVIDIA Kubda process, which is very efficient, very good compression, with pretty much minimal quality loss and very little impact on your FPS while you record. The only issue, the reason why I'm not using it right now is because it's not supported by Sony Vegas or Sony Vegas cannot recognize the format which sucks on a huge scale I know but thankfully Bandicam are working on making it compatible with Sony Vegas in, a ne in their next update so hopefully that won't be for long which is jolly good So as you can see, I'm joining together my, my forces right now. Um, I'm going to have various units though on the sides because I want to flank with. And these slingers I'm going to group with my existing slingers. So that they are all nicely together. And the slingers can go down the full width of my line pretty much. Uh, 
Um, the only thing I haven't moved around is their general, which I want to bring into group one of my elite Spartan hoplites. And the general's bodyguard units are raw Spartans, so they should fit in nicely here. And they're moving in unseen. Two units of citizen cavalry, which I could divert over here, but I don't know what they are. Oh, they're all skirmishers. That's perfect then. My cavalry can go and meet them, give them a, a Spartan greeting at the beach. <clears throat> so we should be able to see their see away their reinforcements. I'm just gonna let the rest of my uh, my men get them walking, and then I'm just gonna fast forward it so they're not all burnt out by the time they get to me. I will have to pl hit play in a moment so that my cavalry can charge in against them. Uh, the the reinforcements rather. Ready and waiting. Because so we want to get these guys at the beach before they can start firing on us. So I'm going to hit the javelin men over there on the far side and the one that's closest to me here with my other cavalry unit. I can target them any second now once they all get up on the shore and they're not attached to their ship anymore. I'm hoping anyway, otherwise at the last minute I'm going to have to change my target. There we go, we can now charge against them. Cavalry is getting in mixed in with all the other units. Athens is now having a massive reform because their AI is going, what? What's happening? They don't know what to do. Which is not great and doesn't look amazing either. <laughs> but meanwhile, we are seeing away their reinforcements and stopping them harassing me. We met them at the beach. And then the distance we can see Athens, which we'll be fighting for very soon. Oh, right in the face with the spear. Saw one just bash one in the face, which looked pretty cool. Oh, he got stabbed. So it's Athens reforming. Yeah, they're reforming with skirmishes in front. Perioikoi pikemen, which I really should tell them to have the. Oh no, that's the hop. That's the wrong ones. Where are they? Are they six? Unit six. No, what are you guys? I can't remember what I grouped these guys to. There we go. Get their pikes out, lads. Oh, these guys started forming up in a uh, phalanx mode. Whoops. Citizen Cavalry, have we lost a single man in this? No, we haven't. We've utterly annihilated their javelin men. Let's them back up here so we can recharge what's left of the, the javelin troop. I don't think there actually is anyone left. It seems like it's glitched there in the ground. They are all dead. Okay. Little bug. One of many. We call if you kind of torch their ships, but then ships don't come back now. Reform the lines. Uh, I'm going to bring my cavalry to form up over here. Three ranks deep, sort of now. Get the general to hurry up, and we can fast forward now to get them all into position. And then I'm going to march forward with my pikes. Or rather, push forward with the skirmishers first, I should say. Skirmishers are all in formation now. So that's, they'll be the first unit we push forward with. 
Athens is reforming once again. I assume that's because my cavalry has formed up down here. Just a little bit. A little bit of reforming. But now all my forces are pretty much pretty much there. I've just got to select the right troops at the right time. These guys are my left un left flank unit of hoplites. And let's play and we can I'm happy to run them now. I know they'll be tired, but let's go for it. So let's bring my skirmishes in on this sort of angle. And pikes, I'm actually going to bring them in behind the skirmishers now. Commander. These hoplites, I'm going to flank round over on the right. These guys are going to be the ones on the left. The Quick march. And then my general can come behind these guys with his elites. March. And that should be everyone. And cavalry can form up around about here so we can pick up any guys that are left behind. Now I know I'm not in range yet, but I'm going to let everyone get into position so that then we can uh, hit hard and hit home. So just taking the time to get into formation, obviously making this a long battle to begin with. And Athens is coming toward us, which means they're going to be in my missile range right now. Taking all these guys off skirmish mode just to double check. And I will be ready to pull these guys back behind the pike line. Now. They're going to fl flee back behind the pike line where the enemy will not be able to, to puncture through. Hoplite is forming up on the flanks. And cavalry getting in closer. See these guys break upon my pikemen. Should have steadied them. We'll hit steady now. So they brace themselves and these guys will lose a lot of men trying to get through a pike line. Best way to beat pikemen by flanking them. And that's not what they're doing now, but they're now allowing me to uh, to charge them. My cavalry are even going to get up here, capture the victory point behind, and then charge into all the various points here. I highly doubt my general's under attack. Let's hit the cinematic mode, though. He's marching forward fine. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm going to give them their rapid advance attack as well. And now with the cavalry, let's just go in for a charge as well. And we should cause mass routing now. Help me now show you guys any of the combat animations. Let's see if we can show you some here. Now that it's a bit... It's slowed down a bit. I don't know if you guys will notice or not yet. But it gives you more time to enjoy the combat animations a bit more. Units are a bit slower. Which... Makes it look more realistic and more enjoyable. Lag, 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 lag as we engage here. Citizen cavalry is engaged strongly. Let's pull back with the cavalry. And all across the line, pikemen holding the enemy. And my hoplite is coming in to do the, the butcher's work. I do like it when they shield bash, that's pretty cool. The 
enemy general is dead. Enemy general is now dead. If we go to this, we can actually see where he is, or where he was. I would prefer if that came up, if it, if an enemy general was being attacked, and if it could calculate, you know, enemy general has lost X amount of um, of health. It would be pretty good to know how much. Well, if it could work out, you know, that this is now the opportune moment to to us to go to cinematic mode to see the general die that would be cooler I think because at the moment you go then you're like oh he's dead okay so uh, hammer and anvil strikes now against these hot potatoes pinning these guys between my troops Oh, that's cool. I do like how units lose their use that you lose their weapons and their shields and things like that. Oh dear, we're having some breaking. Now that normally wouldn't happen, which is good. Well done, Radius mod, because these guys have actually done a decent defence and managed to hold off my troops. And you see, they're not losing as many men as quickly. These guys are still wavering here. Let me see if I can charge and hit the hoplites here. The perioikois are doing a good job. Not many of the enemy left. In come the cavalry. And a solid charge there. And the battle has ended. Victory is ours. I won't bother continuing that round end it there a decisive victory for all so we lost 693 we had 4,000 deployed against 2,000 so we did outnumber them and it was going to be a victory we we should, would always win um, we killed 2,156 so bar 200 of the enemy surviving we killed them all and the battle duration was 14 minutes 17 seconds so if we take about four four five minutes off for um, you know just just a general manoeuvring and things like that, although I did speed a lot of that up. That's a pretty, pretty decent battle length, so well done, Radius. I know I've said pretty much exactly the same thing in my Rome part, but seeing as these are the first two parts that I've used it in, I will probably be repeating myself a bit. So who got the most kills on my team, my side? I can't see the other units. That would be nice to see if you could see the other army. There's a little extra bit over here. There's enough room for it. That would be nice rather than just the main two armies, because I'd like to know how much the other army killed with their pikemen and what have you. But cavalry got a lot of kills, which is good. After battles are loading faster now, I don't know if that's because I've dropped settings down or anything like that, or what really. So we can see, we lost 693, the enemy killed all bar four of my men, so there's only four friendly fire incidences there, which I'm very happy with. What remains of the enemy? 204. We captured 323 of the enemy. I should... Hmm. They can help drive the economy, but I'm just going to kill these guys. We have an increase in rank for Arius. And we are now free to besiege Athens with my multiple armies. Ready for orders. And I'm going to go in sabotage and poison their wells. If they're successful, then it should help weaken their the enemy garrison units and morale but it hasn't that's a shame but um, let's engage now with the pikemen first and we can deploy light galleys and ladders I'm gonna get some ladders that takes a lot of turn to build all the ladders we're gonna take four turns to do them but it will continue to see because I'm more than happy to wait a little while they have reinforcing troops or rather only deployed um, in Athens Small force. They should have a garrison. Oh, there's the garrison army. I was wondering where that be. There's the garrison force. Athena's faithful, which is this army out here, and then garrison fleet. But we're going to continue the siege. And we have this army as well to reinforce with. So they're cool to chill there. But that's where I'm going to wrap up this part for now, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed. Please do remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and next time we will have the siege of Athens. Ciao for now.